comes, he hits the sixes with a horizontal bat, like this, tapak. There, it goes over the top of square for six. Now this is the line. He goes back on this leg, the ball is short, so he hits it like this, with the bat, horizontal. Sorry, Vaina, why not let Yuvraj show it to us himself? So go back a step and let's have a look at Yuvraj Singh demonstrating exactly that. Takak. The ball comes and there, there it is. is. It's exactly the same. It's like an action replay. It's like going into his mind. It's like planning your innings. It's like being prepared for the short ball and playing according to the merit of the ball. Now, there was this mindset of rolling your wrists over the top of the ball. If there was a short ball outside the off stump, you cut like this. But Jayasurya changed it. Now, they cut like this. Like the a knife. Bat, it's a knife through butter. The bat is slicing below the ball. It's, it's here. Whereas, pehle, hold the ball. It was supposed to be over the ball. So, from here, cricket has come here. Whether it is over the top of third man or it is over the top of point, it's a metamorphosis. It's a 360 degree change. And hang on. It's not about that. I couldn't sweep because I thought the ball would hit my jaw. But Dilshan Scoop, he's doing it like this. Boom! He's not bothered about his jaw. In fact, he's going over the top of the wicketkeeper. Chamatkar hai to namaskar hai. Unbelievable. I can believe anything provided it's incredible. These days, the sixes that they're hitting are incredible, boss. In fact, to go a step further, I mean, you thought Dilshan invented the Dil Scoop and he had the world's best dentist. Then came A.B. de Villiers from South Africa and he would also step down and not just hit it over the offside, on the onside, but over the offside as well. He would, as a viewer, would, we, were, we were just from, wrapped. From a right-hander, he would go into a left-hander and then hit it like this. Then there would be Kevin Peterson. He would go right to left and hit the ball there for a six. Now, this is something amazing, boss. A 200-plus score in a test match in a day was great. Today, they score 175 in 20 overs. Why? The tool, the most potent and powerful tool is the sixer. They're going over the top. It's cricket in the fast lane, boss. It's a McLaren engine which is running there. When you're running over thin ice, it is speed that is your safety. And that speed has caught up with today's cricket. Now, it's wonderful that he's actually switched from a Ferrari to a McLaren, but that's all right. I'm going to actually switch from a bat to a ball because right. you wanted to talk about the point of now, no return. Yes. Now, this is technique. When a spinner is bowling at you, you step out to a spinner. And this is the step out movement that I've shown you. Watch this. This is the step out movement. One, two, and three. When do you do it? That's the key. Now look at this. The spinner, when he's at the point of no return, what is the point of no return? This is the point of no return. When the spinner is here and you step out, it's a program. He will bowl wide outside the leg stump. He will bowl wide outside the off stump. Then he is in control. He's dominating you. But when the spinner hand is here, he's at the point of delivery, like Muthaya Murli Dharan used to, then you are dictating to him. You are saying, I'm the boss, I'm the ringmaster, I'll crack the whip. So it's just a technical game. It's ingrained in your system, hours and hours of practice. It's instinctive, boss. It's a sixth sense. 150 miles or 90 miles, it's ingrained here. What is man? What is mind? 75% of cricket played in the mind. It's actually not a sixth sense, but it's a sixth sense that this man, Sixer Siddhu, had. You <laughs> talked about Murli Dharan, one of the greatest off spinner, if not the greatest ever. In that particular innings in Lucknow in a test match, Sachin Tendulkar batted with you. You put on almost 200. Mm -hmm. You hit him for eight sixes. Every one of Murli. I'll tell you why. Now, when Murli is bowling, this, this is his length. Imagine, this is his length. Now, if you stop doing this, 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 the ball is going to pop up. It's going to go short leg. It's going to go silly point. When there was a silly point or a short leg, I would never be on the crease. I would be jumping out, one, two, three, samne chakka. Then I would wait deep in the crease, here. He would bowl short, I would hit him for a pull. This is here. So, I would never do this. Attack was the best form of defense. And when Murli saw me, any time, test match or one day, the first thing he would do is, look at Rana Tunga, I want a long on. 
I want to know when Rana Tunga would start laughing. Now, this is most important. You dent the psyche of a spinner. Shane Warne in the 97 series, we dented his psyche. He came in with a big reputation, but nothing deflates as fast as the punctured reputation. We punctured it. We hit him all over the park. It's a mental game. Once you're dented over here, your psyche goes down. Well, if you've lost it in the mind, you've lost the battle on the ground. Well, you've got a slightly lighter bat in your hand because there is a difference. There are two kinds of players who hit sixes. I always used to play with a light bat. Anybody who used his wrist, Muhammad Azaruddin, Navjot Sidhu, Mark Waugh, one grip, thin bat, light bat, would, would hold the bat from here. And then the wrist would come into play. Here, here, driving. But people like Vinod Kambli, people like Sachin Tendulkar, not one grip, but six grips. Believe you me, Sachin Tendulkar will use four grips. This thick a grip, heavy bat, and the grip is from here. Now, what happens is, there's the cradle movement. When you have a heavy bat and you hold it from the bottom, the bat feels lighter. When I hold it from here, it feels heavy. But when I hold it from here, the same bat will start feeling light. Now, how do you become aggressive and defensive? Now, this is a defensive movement. Here, my shoulders have gone up. Crouch. This is ouch crouch. This is defensive. But this is the cradle movement which makes aggressive batsmen. We're in the Sehwag. Sachin Tendulkar. All those who would hit the sixes. We know Kamli. Now, this is what it is. We're in the Sehwag. When the bat goes like this, tuck. Here, this is the good old cradle movement, my dear friend. Smashes it down the ground for four. How's that for timing? Just ease through the offside. Wonderful use of the hands. So there's a lot of technique involved. There's a lot of situations that you want to deal with. But adapting to various situations, changing colors like a chameleon, that's the key, Gotham. Now, I'm going to come back to where we started the show. We know that this man was a master of dancing down the pitch. And if I place the ball here, this is where he would meet the ball. One step, two steps, three steps, and he would meet the ball over here. That's by his own admittance. Then again, if you place the ball here, which we would call a good length ball, especially in one-day cricket today, you hit the length ball and it goes for six. But what about if the ball is here, Yorker length? Is there any way I can possibly hit a six? I give up. Sure. Now, this is where you innovate. For someone like me, if I'm standing here, this is a perfect Yorker. I'll have to dig it out. But for someone like Dhoni, this is not a Yorker. This is a juicy half volley because Dhoni is using the crease. He is using the blades of the helicopter. Here, this is his foot. My dear friend, and this is his back lift. It's not coming from here. It's coming from here. So the angle of the bat, it enables him to hit it over the top of mid-wicket. Here it comes. A half volley for Dhoni and a Yorker for Navjot Singh Sidhu. Gai, 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 gai. Up she goes. Going, going, going. And it's gone. The rotor is moving very fast. We are, of Crack. course, talking about nothing other than the helicopter shot. There is a science to it. You think it's just about him showing off. You think it's just about him trying to do something different just because he's MS Dhoni? No, it's not. It's, there is an art even to the helicopter shot. There's a method to the madness. It's a very simple thing. It's about using the crease. It's about having a different backlift. It's about using the wrist. Now look at this. There it is. This. It's, it's this. It's unbelievable, boss. This is one of the most unorthodox ways of playing cricket. It's like the Dusra. It's like the Tisra. It's like you being the knight in the shining armor. Having more tricks in your bag full of tricks, my dear friend. We've invited, uh, earlier on, we invited Rohit Sharma, Virat Kohli, and even Yuvraj Singh. Why not the helicopter captain himself to try and demonstrate up close and personal as to this particular helicopter shot. There it is. And there he goes. It's amazing. It's amazing. Now, you know, he's not imitating anyone. Sunil Gavaskar, Sunil Gavaskar got the straight stroke because he played in a small alley where if he hit it square, he would get two runs. 
if he hit it this side, he'd get one run. But if he hit it in that gully, in that alley, straight, he would get four. So it got ingrained in his system. This stroke that Dhoni has developed, he's developed it playing on the fields of Ranchi, my dear friend. Hitting it on this side, whereas he was batting on a field where hitting on this side was more lucrative. Maybe he was not breaking any window panes. Maybe he was not breaking any glasses. But these are things that you learn in the cradle and you don't forget them till the tomb, my dear friend. What you learn in the cradle lasts till the tomb. Yes, I mean, that's what we're looking at uh, Mahindra Singh Dhoni hitting a few sixes. I mean, that is, he's unorthodox. But again, when we talk about unorthodoxy, there's one kind of unorthodoxy, that's Dilshan's scoop or that's Kevin Peterson's reverse switch hit. But this is a different kind. He's look, adapting to the conditions and to what the bowler's throwing. Look, Dhoni's complete picture. He has got a wide array. If the ball is outside the off stump, he'll hit it over point for six. Now, if it's 